I'm looking for. I am looking forward to doing the tour, um, and London's good because I'm in three nights at Hammersmith, which means that I'll just stay up in London, and then uh, because it's December, um, I'll be able to. Um, I'll be able to do some Christmas shopping. I mean, I'll enjoy doing the shows, but the main thing is that I'll be able to just do some Christmas shopping at the start of December. Pelvic floor. That's the... T t what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> pelvic floor? What the hell's a pelvic floor? I don't know. I think I saw it on Grand Designs. And it is Hammersmith Apollo as well. I did six weeks at um, the Apollo Shaftesbury Avenue, and I got to the point where I was actually telling the audience after a while, I was saying, look, about 40 minutes in, before the break, two people are going to turn up. The bloke will be following the woman. The woman will be striding with purpose, and the bloke will be like looking a bit nervous behind. And I'll say, Where have you been? And they will say, We went to the wrong Apollo. And that happened, like I say, six nights a week for six weeks, every night without fail. People would turn up, Where have you been? We went to the wrong Apollo. And they were, Hey! So, yeah, so don't be confused. It's the Hammersmith Apollo, 4th, 5th, and 6th, not the Shaftesbury Avenue one. Which is weird, because when I was doing six weeks at the Shaftesbury Apollo, I was doing it, I was saying the other thing. It's the other one. So there's too many Apollos <laughs> in London. There's Hammersmith Apollo, uh, there's the uh, Shaftesbury Avenue Apollo, there's the Victoria Apollo. Apollo was, the, he was the Greek god of overbooking theatres. Of course, then there's also the Apollo um, <laughs> uh, chicken. Yeah, so there's probably people sitting there at the show going, this isn't a chicken pizza. Don't fall for that, ladies, whatever you do. The last time I played the Hammersmith Apollo, somebody brought uh, their curry and left it on the stage. I don't know what people expect me to do. I go, oh, I'll have some of that. One, eating some food that I have no idea where it came from, and two, uh, the idea that look, I'm a bit busy. Julia and John have removed the wooden flooring and have replaced it. <laughs> They've replaced it with a loose pelvic floor. <laughs> <laughs>